A facility in South Korea stores 95,000 seeds of about 4,700 types of plants under strict security to brace for the possibility that any of them might go into extinction. There are only a handful of such seed vaults across the world. Nippon TV was the first Japanese media organization allowed to go inside the nationally protected space in the eastern part of South Korea, with limits placed on where we can film. The seed vault is located in the basement on the other side of this tunnel with a 60-centimeter thick concrete wall. The facility is designed to withstand major earthquakes. Seeds from South Korea and overseas are stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius. They will come into use if the plant becomes extinct due to factors such as climate change and conflict. The head of the vault showed us some rare seeds that were unearthed during an excavation of castle ruins in 2009. There were seeds of a type of lotus that existed about 700 years ago. Researchers were able to grow the old seeds and produce new ones when the flower bloomed. The South Korean government established the Seed Vault in 2015 to protect ecosystems spurred by the UN Conference on Biological Diversity that took place five years earlier in Nagoya, central Japan. <laughs> Scientists are now studying the Korean fur, whose population is dwindling as a result of global warming. They will store not only the seeds, but also data about the characteristics of the plants. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals include calls to preserve the diversity of living things, including plants. The number of seeds kept for free at the vault is on the rise. 시드 볼트는 미래 세대를 위한 시설이라고 생각을 합니다. 우리는 만약을 대비하는 거고 이 만약이 그냥 만약으로 끝나는 일이 일이 되고 있었으면 일이 되면 좋겠습니다. The best outcome for the seed vault is to never have to use any of the seeds to restore the existence of a plant.